in today's video, we're going to be talking about our dogs running away from us and not coming back when they're called. Especially, we're going to be talking about a really great game that I love to play that mimics when our dogs have a choice of coming back to us or going towards a distraction. Whether that distraction is toys, food, a squirrel bird, another animal, another person, it doesn't matter. With this game, we are practicing our dogs coming back when called every single time, despite whatever is going on out there in the world. So you're building a really, really great recall. And this is something you can start by doing in your home. It's really, really great for, your, um, for a beginner dog some dogs who have had some trainings or anything like that. So let's get to the video. All you're gonna need for today's game is either a bowl or a paper plate or just a regular plate, whatever you have in your house, just some, some object so that you can have a, um, put some food or a toy in it. Today I'm gonna be using food because Mufasa is not very toy motivated, but Play this game for the dog in front of you. Don't play this game based on how I'm doing it with my dog. So I'm going to be using the climb as my prop, but you can very easily do this with another person or um, with your dog on a leash. I'll show you a couple different ways as well without the climb, but I figured since he's already there, let's go ahead and use it. So we're practicing our recall, which is just coming when called. I'm going to put a couple of pieces of food. I have a mix of kibble and treats in my treat pouch today, and I'm gonna put it off set. I know, it's a big day. I'm gonna put it off set from between me and Mufasa. So I'm gonna create a triangle from where this is. And I wanna make sure that my dog is successful, so I'm going to put it far enough away that I know when I call him, he's going to come to me. So I'm gonna put it out here, and then I'm going to come pretty far away, and then I'm gonna call my dog to me. If he goes and darts for the, the food, then I know that I either need to put a leash on my dog to prevent that from happening, or I need to have a second person ready to cover the piece of food. All right, Mufasa. Yes. So I practiced my collar grab when he came to me so he couldn't just come to me. No, Mufasa. Good boy. Okay. All right. So I practiced my collar grab when he came to me to make sure he came close enough that I could grab him. And then once I delivered a treat by me, thank you for coming when called. Yes, I'm going to pay you for that. Then you with my permission, you can go and see whatever that is, whether that be sniff a bush, go say hi to the person, yes, please clean up that spaghetti sauce that I dropped, or even sometimes it's going to be a no, we're not, we're not going with that, let's walk away together. All right, Mufasa climb. I'm going to refill. He did pretty good on that one, so I'm actually gonna bring it closer between us. I'm gonna make that triangle smaller. No, <laughs> climb. I know, climb. I'm gonna make that triangle smaller, so clearly it's more difficult for Mufasa. All right, Mufasa. Yes. So I grab that scruff or collar, whichever your dog is using. Sit. I know. Yes. Okay. And then I gave him his release word. You can go see. Um, this game is actually very, very easy to play. It's great. It's great for, um, like I said in the intro, it's great for new dogs, older dogs. Um, it's great for everyone. All right, go to your climb. Good boy. I'm gonna reload and make it a little bit more difficult by bringing it even closer. Mufasa, yes. I actually chose Mufasa because I was hoping he would mess up, but apparently, okay, he wasn't going to. 
Um, eventually you can make it so that it is directly in line with where you are going. Um, all right, so, but eventually we'll get there. That's <laughs> one way you can grow the game. All right, sit. I know, good boy, sit. Another way is to put your dog in a sit command and then play the same game. Mufasa, yes. Get it. And then the last way would just be um, you practicing, <laughs> you having a person um, with uh, restrain the dog either by holding, um, holding their collar or having them on leash and then releasing the leash or collar whenever you, um, you say their name as a recall. I always use their name as the recall word instead of something like come because in a panic, I am absolutely going to be yelling my dog's name. I'm not going to be thinking about come or Mufasa come. I'm not going to, I'm going to be thinking about Mufasa, especially if I'm panicked. That's the first word that's just going to come out of my mouth is Mufasa, right? I know you had so much fun. All right, that's the game. Let me know if you have any questions. Have fun. Keep on training. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you liked everything in the video, um, drop a like, a comment down below. Even hit that subscribe button. And it really encourages me to keep producing more videos and giving you guys more content. Um, do not forget that my online course goes into even greater detail than this video about building your dog's recall. The course is called Positive Focus. It helps build your dog's focus on you, build your relationship. It goes over reactivity struggles, household struggles, and even loose leash walking struggles. So it goes over a whole range of um, things. I'm really proud of everything I've done with this course. So yeah, the link is in the description below. All the fun links, social media and everything down below. Next video will come out on Friday, 2 p.m. Central Standard Time. So make sure you hit the bell whenever you do subscribe so that you get notified whenever that video comes out.